So many hydrangeas. So confusing what to prune. Well, not really. If you go by this rule, prune after the first blossoms fade. Just, that's it. That's it. Um, you can't go wrong. But, uh, gosh, I hate it. It's going to start soon. It is. Those landscapers looking for billable hours. You know, they're pruning everything. Tell them to stay away from your hydrangeas. Um, it's really pretty easy. You're uh, the big microphylla blooms blue and pink and white. You want them to stay away from those for sure because they don't get pruned, really. You missed the opportunity. Just leave them alone. Drop the pruners and walk away. Uh, it, it's their best if they're pruned right after they bloom. If there's dead wood and there's stuff that's not expanding, sure, you can gut out that, but you really, uh, it's its something you shouldn't bother with. The other types of hydrangeas, for instance, like, for instance, uh, all the types that have just finished blooming and they have those either tan or strawberry colored uh, blooms that they faded to, there's they need to be left alone, and that's where you hear about winter pruning. Winter pruning. And all comes down to, right, Julio, is blooming on new wood, new wood or old, old wood. wood. New wood, old wood. Can, can you can you explain that for us? Yeah, old wood is is last year's growth. All right, it's very simple. And uh, So stuff that's on the plant on now. The plant. Right. And new growth is the following year's growth. So that would happen in the spring, spring. or summer. That's correct. So macrophyll, the ones, the, the big blue, pink, white, that those that are roundish, okay, or sometimes there's uh, uh, a snowflake hyd- hydrangea flower where those, are, and it has the big leaves, so the big, thick leaf to it, that those are the ones that you're going to have that will bloom on old wood. Now, it's confused. It used to be easy because there never was a reblooming hydrangea, and we could it would be real easy. Yeah. But now, yeah. because they do rebloom, they, they rebloom on new wood. But the issue is, is they look best when they flower on their old wood. So that first spring blossom is, like, tremendous. Yeah. Uh, and then the rest of the time, they're kind of yeah. spitting okay. out flowers, and they've got some flowers. But don't cut them back because they'll end up you'll end up cutting off all the big big show for next year so just leave them alone and then the other ones that are more of a panicle type hydrangea um that those are the ones that are white and like like you said you probably they're turning they bloom a little later they will flower on their their new wood so those can be cut back in the winter winter pruning around sometime around march and uh it gives you something to do Again, don't cut back your hydrants. I honestly, wouldn't you just say leave them? Don't touch them. Don't take, you know, take the day off. (laughs) Do something else. (laughs) But uh, really, it's not, it's not the time to prune hydrangeas. Uh, Okay. You, it's, you've missed it for the uh, big, thick leafed round snowball type blue, pink, white and the other type doesn't get done until until the uh, winter pruning. We'll have a whole list for you. Yeah, yeah start lit. Start lit. Make sure you're listening yeah. because we'll let you know when it's yeah. time to do your winter pruning of hydrangeas. It's not now. It's going to be sometime in late February, early March, and there'll be other things to prune as well, won't there, Ol? Oh yeah, there's plenty. Of Make sure you're feeding them. Got to get that holly tone on them. Yeah, Yeah, that that'll be. They'll like that. Uh, Also, there's aluminum sulfate. If you like your hydrangeas blue, you want to put aluminum sulfate on them because that you'll get the results in spring. It'll be holy cow! How'd they get so blue? Wow. So make sure that you're doing that. That's something you can do. But drop the pruners and walk away from the hydrangea. (laughs) 